This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're in the outskirts of Denver in Erie, Colorado. We're here at Intricate Icing's Cake Design. I'm here with Rachel, the founder and owner. I pulled her out of the back kitchen there for just a little bit, asked her a few questions about what she does here. Let me ask you, first of all, you're basically providing artwork for your taste buds? That's exactly right. Everything that we do here is fully customized for our clients. Um, so we really look to them for inspiration for their event and then custom design thing. Um, and it ranges in uh, color, shapes, sizes, decor, everything, but it is a custom cake shop. Fantastic. And so you're talking about cakes that will reflect the rest of your decor, be it a wedding, maybe you're having a party or something like that. Fantastic. Let's let's start off with weddings. Let's start with the big one. Um, obviously, something people look forward to. Um, the whole wedding day kind of leads up to that cutting of the cake at night, and so there's a lot of eyes on that. When a bride walks in here, does she usually have quite a few ideas, and do you like her to have some ideas? You know, the bulk of what we do is custom design, and I have a bit of an art background, so I like to be able to create the designs for our clients. And we do require them to bring inspiration, though. So it's wonderful when they come in knowing what their wedding is going to be like, as far as color scheme, what their invitations might be like, what their gown looks like. Um, those are the things that we pull inspiration from in order then to create something that flows with the rest of the event, that does doesn't just stand out as um, a beautiful artwork and a great piece, but doesn't necessarily match their event. So basically, it complements the rest of the decor. That's correct. Perfect. So um, I, I've seen from the reviews out there what people like about it is they're able to come in with basically uh, maybe some garments from the actual wedding, maybe talking about what she's going to wear, um, maybe what they're going to have on the tables. And you're able to actually put your 10 years of experience along with theirs and basically not not step over those bounds, but basically give, it, give it an artist flair that it still has a signature of yours. That's correct. I mean, essentially what we want to do is create the design along with the client. We never want to just make something that we want to make obviously that's fun and we have opportunities for that but what we're going for is incorporating their style their themes into what we've created so it does pair up with what they're doing with the rest of the event fantastic so you've got you've got these cakes folks first of all you're not going to see your run-of-the-mill basic normal cake here um, this isn't the shop to do that this is the shop that basically you want that one of a kind um, we're basically scrolling across the screen right now some cakes you can take a look at as you can see it doesn't matter what you are into she can basically put something together for you I don't care if it's football teams baseball teams tractors um, you name it across the board I mean obviously the wedding cake is big what about the groom's cake do you guys do those as well you know we do groom's cakes as well and they tend to be three-dimensional in uh, decor so we do a lot of football helmets or um, one of our more popular is our Longhorn cake, uh, which is a 3D sculpted uh, Longhorn, Texas A&M Longhorn. So, you know, we do a lot of everything. We've done poker chips, you name it, we've probably done it. <laughs> I would say so. Yeah, like I said, we've seen so many things on there. I mean, uh, you've got pets on there, yes. you've got animals, <laughs> you got you name it. So obviously the wedding is something big. Now let's person's thinking about getting their cake done, what do you recommend huh, before they come in and sit down with a consultation? Sure. For all of our wedding clients, um, we don't really have a time frame, although we do book quickly, so we recommend at least six months out from their wedding date to come in, sit down, talk through designs, have an opportunity to sample some cake, and then hopefully we've created exactly what they're looking for. Um, if you're planning um, to do things a little further out, most brides start about a year to a year and a half out. If they haven't got gotten all the details like dresses and invitations we really prefer that they wait until they have that information and that way we can accommodate them as best we possibly can with their decor um, if someone's looking for a three-dimensional cake we usually request at least a couple of weeks out so that we have an opportunity to plan for those the larger the cake the more time we need um, and you know during wedding season it's a little tougher for us to be able to take all of the orders that come our way we do focus on quality 
quality over quantity, so we limit the number of events we take each weekend. So unfortunately, we can't do everything here, but um, we do our best to accommodate as many clients as we can. Perfect. Speaking of quality, um, obviously cakes look great. They look like pieces of art everywhere you put them. But let's be real, a cake has to taste good, doesn't it? Exactly. It definitely has to taste good. And we certainly use very high quality ingredients here. All of our cakes are baked no more than two days before the event, um, which means there's a time crunch on our end. But it's our quality that um, has brought us to the reputation that we have right now. And so it's really important for us to keep that. And um, we never freeze anything. Uh, everything's baked fresh um, and then delivered as close to the date as we possibly can so everything's done a very short period of time here absolutely which keeps the freshness and so when you look at that great piece of art and get the picture taken with it and you bite into it all the guests basically say yummy <laughs> exactly yeah we get a lot of rave reviews about uh, some of our flavors in particular like our zucchini lime but um, you know it's very rare that I have a client say we we had so much cake left over almost always I hear everybody went back for seconds it was wonderful it was the best wedding cake they'd ever tasted so it's it's wonderful for us to hear those types of comments speaking of zucchini lime and you looked at the reviews there it came up more than one time <laughs> who thought of that flavor you know I actually had a bride come to me a few years years back. She was from California. This happened to be a flavor that she had grown up with um, at a bakery out there. She actually brought me a slice of cake and said, can you duplicate this? So it's our version of the cake that she grew up with. Fantastic. Well, we move on past the wedding cakes. Let's just talk about some novelty cakes. I mean, you want to basically throw a party out there or maybe even a corporate event or something like that. Tell me what you're able to do there. Um, so again, we fully customize everything. So if someone has a particular themed event, we can certainly accommodate that. Uh, we recently did a three-dimensional um, Wall Street bull, and it happened to be for a client who um, had worked on Wall Street many years, and it was a big birthday, and it was important. So it actually um, stood about 20 inches um, long and uh, close to 16 to 18 inches tall. So it was a pretty big bull. Um, but you know, those are the types of things that we love doing here. It's certainly a creative outlet for us, um, allows us to show, you know, what we're capable of doing. And it always amazes people to be able to see these average 3D objects that you're used to seeing in life every day turn into something that's edible. Wonderful. And uh, let me ask you as an artist back there, you're basically, the magic happens in the back room there. You're obviously evoking a lot of love from, from all the artists involved there. Um, when is it when you actually step back and enjoy your art piece? Is it in a picture later <laughs> or is it at the actual day? What is it? Uh, you know, for me, as I'm creating it, it's always very special for me because we do so many things that are one of a kind. It's, yeah. it's always um, enjoyable throughout the whole process. Um, but what I do find is that when I'm able to step back after the cake is set up and see the client for the first time view it that's what really strikes me nice nice wonderful so obviously too you've got wedding cakes novelty cakes um, if somebody wants to do a cupcake small items cupcakes sure. bars do you do that type of thing we do help clients with dessert bars as far as providing them with a few different types of um, baked goods like our cake pops and our cupcakes and then uh, we'll certainly help them with candy displays as well Wonderful. Well, you've been doing this over 10 years. You struck out on your own four years ago, probably started doing out of your house there, and now you've got a wonderful establishment. It looks beautiful in here, matches the quality, obviously, that your cakes provide and uh, put a smile on people's faces out there. You've been you've been awarded many awards out there. You've been in Brides Magazine, Confetti, um, the Sevens A-List. Um, which one of those... Uh, really really kind of moved you when you actually got on that you know i think confetti magazine is probably you know one of the more uh, prestigious magazines that we've been in and it certainly is one that's seeking out the best of the best so it's a true honor to be a part of all of the magazines but that one in particular and not to mention the bride's pick yes absolutely you know the knot um, has done uh worlds of of good for my business and um, being able to have our brides go and review us and be at the top of the list is is a really great honor 
pretty amazing. There's only a, a couple other places here in all of Denver, Colorado that actually has been on the Food Network. Tell me about that. Yeah. So we've had the honor of being on Food Network Challenge three times now, um, two of which have aired. You'll have to tune in October to see our last uh, show that we taped. But it's it's just exciting. It's fun. It's a great way to be able to show you know people what we do and um, yeah, it's an amazing experience. Fantastic. Well, there you have it all right there, folks. Um, obviously, in that back room, there's where the magic happens. But the magic is basically done with you in mind. So they want you to come in, come in for a consultation, um, bring yourself and the groom to be there, uh, maybe the moms, you know, have four people go through the testings there and, and find out what is really going to work for you, what's going to complement your decor. Once they put that together for you, your cake too will be on that website and uh, you'll be able to look back and say that was part of my creation that you co-created with the people in the back room here and um, check them out on the website. The website's at the bottom of the screen there. Their phone numbers there as well. Um, they do ask you to give a little bit of time and done because obviously it's just a few of them back there trying to accommodate a whole area here in northern Denver. And so check them out on Facebook and get involved. Give them a call. They'll be answered any questions for you. This is Gary Atencio with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know. <laughs>